Hello, welcome to episode 16 of Andy's Big Sorcerer Let's Play for Terra Online. Uh, starting out here, we are back in Lumbertown, and we are going to go ahead and talk to Tomba, the Tawangi Runaway. And he gives us a quest that uh, tells us to teleport to the mire. So we're going to go ahead and jump down there. And once we get down to the mire, we'll be able to help out these, uh, whatever is going on. I guess we got to fight frog people and help some frog people and uh, a whole mess of things. So it should be pretty good. So here we go. We've got uh, our first quest turn in here, Rathi's request. So just saying we'll serve his orders. Uh, survey says, and survey still says, go kill some things. And Victory this guy, I believe, wants us, yeah, to go get some quagmire herb sap. Or, yeah. So, we've got lots to fight here. Ha ha ha. Nice. That gets pretty, uh, I don't know, pretty jumpy when you're bouncing all over the place. Ooh, and our we now have an additional range on our fireball, so we should be able to hit out to 21 meters. Or was that our ice lance? Let me check. It's the last time we put in some glyphs right at the end. Fireball has additional range. Ice lance, ice lance has a reduced cooldown. So, good to know. And it slows them more, so all good things. I'm a big fan of Ice Lance. So. Nice. So we're just killing our way through muddy spore walkers here. We gotta work our way over to this herb that's at the far side of this pond. Uh, which is needed for a quest. And then uh, I believe we have to also go kill some murloc looking things. A little like angry. Uh, I don't really know what they are. They're kind of like mutants. Okay, there we go. That's the spore walkers down. We can just run through here and get the quagmire herb. So we'll go ahead and take the sap, and then we gotta kill two more spore walkers. So perhaps we should have uh, rushed through to that first, but that's fine. It's a little extra XP. Nice. It really does seem like we're hitting pretty hard after uh, after getting that new weapon in the Bastion of Locke. Um, we're doing a lot more damage than uh, than we previously were. So let's see, that's the unblinking demon eye. And we're still in a guild. Um, you know, haven't left or anything. Doesn't look like anybody's talking right now, but that's cool. Okay, so then our last uh, our last part of this little entry quest here is to kill these tentacolors, or tentaculars. Nice. I love that blink. That's so cool. It just looks so neat, and the way the camera, like, bounces bounces behind or so. You know what I mean. I'll show you one time. When... Oh! Didn't mean to do that. Like that. The way the camera kind of lags behind for a second. It just makes it look a lot neater and... I don't know. More rubber bandy. What is this? Dreamer's robe. Ah, that's nowhere near as good as what we've got. May as well hit him with a charged up attack. Ah, 
<laughs> it's kind of a weird fighting strategy, I guess, to blink and then hit them with uh, that ice blast, but I like that attack. It seems to do a nice little chunk of damage to help finish them off, and uh, it's more interesting. I can't hit them with Ice Lance when they're that far away, unfortunately. Whoops. There we go. I meant to do that. Totally meant to do that. Hey, guy. See, these are the these are the mutant things. The other ones are just like flying uh, squids or cuttlefish or something. But uh, these ones look weird. They're just very weird. There we go. I think we need to kill. Oh, no more of those. Just one of these. Hey, come here. There we go. So that's that taken care of. So we can go ahead and run back to camp now and uh, turn these in. I might be able to duck through this way. Can I? Yes! We'll have to leap these rocks. Bam! Like a mighty lion. Okay. Thank you, person. Survey still says... Uh, there's those. And then... We gotta talk to her once she comes back. Your face is strange. Is it always there like we that? go. So now, we gotta drink this stinking potion. Or stinking brew. There we go. We're drinking the potion. For the Federation. Understanding for a price. And I gotta talk to this guy. Hmm, what is that? It smells like skin and despair. That's kind of gross. It understands. I can tell you what's happening. You know why the swamp is getting bigger? Have you ever wanted a bigger home? Or have you never wanted a bigger house? I see. So these little woodchuck Victory guys are taking over uh, and spreading the swamp. Here? And that must be what the, uh, the issue is. That's why everybody's angry at them. So now, we'll go ahead and duck through here. Uh, this little cave over here leads us into the rest of sort of the prompt or uh, the swamp proper. So non-aggressive frogs. A rock. And then I go swim. Fortunately, the Popori are naturally good swimmers. That is a really cool little chameleon gecko guy on the ground. Huh? What That's say? awesome. Another impudent you. Uh, let's see. Lost backpack. Huh? What did you say? Cash on delivery. Huh? What did you okay. Say? So now we gotta go up here and kill these guys. Fortunately, there's large groups of them, so they're pretty easy to take out. Come here. Bam. That got him. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that only took out one. I should have been able to get, like, a bunch of them with that. What do you think you're doing, sucker? There we go. Okie dokie. So we'll harvest up some Essence of Wind. These are getting to be hard, so maybe I should uh, spend a little time outside of the episode just gathering in order to keep my skills up or something. I don't know. We got, uh, we've got ten fancy headdresses. There 
There we go. Eat fireballs. Whoa. <laughs> that guy was just like running sideways. That was pretty cool. that and more fancy headdresses through here. I am the slayer of the little woodchuck people. None shall stand in my way. <laughs> it's like bowling. That was pretty cool. Okay, so there's a big guy that we gotta take out. Nice, we took out all of his all of his little guys all at once. And he's just standing there. I think that was a boss guy of sorts. Um, not a really hard boss guy, but that was for cash on delivery. Uh, so we had to take him out. We need six of these merchants' uh, luggage for the lost backpack quest. So we'll go ahead and gather these up before those guys respawn get around here. And I believe there are more of these scattered through the camps because we got to. We gotta bump off a couple more of these guys. There we go. And here's more luggage. So yeah, we gotta we gotta take out those big uh, leader guys for their Garaka eyeballs. Ooh. Hello. I'm loving how many like subtle AOE effects or area of effect effects. Um, I'm loving how many AOE abilities seem built into normal targeted combat. It's what the? Am I lagging badly or something? That's weird. Normally I don't have too many lag issues, but uh, that's certainly possible. Um, but things like uh, even the ice lance and stuff like that, they seem to explode and hit everything right around what you hit, which is so helpful, because for taking out those little guys and stuff like that, I mean, it just does a huge amount. Ooh. Take that. That's one toasty frog. Um... Oh boy. Dang it. We failed on that. Oh! Huh. Oh, that's dead already. Oh, that archer was helping us. That's why. I was gonna say, that, uh, that seemed like it died a lot easier than all of the others we've fought. Nice. Got some more. Runes, we got those. Okay, we got the luggage. I think that's all we had to do in here. We gotta, we gotta head back to the merchant and turn these in, see what else he wants us to do, if anything. 
to tell you. So, uh, earlier today, people did succeed in getting the 25,000 shares uh, for this Terra video that was uh, released a few days ago. Um, as a result, people can now claim a pirate hat. Um, nice! I just leveled up to level 24. Awesome. Saving Jira. So let's see. I think uh, we will cut real quick to getting new abilities and then I'll be right back. Okay, so we're here in Lumbertown. We're just gonna just teleport it back here with a scroll. We're gonna take a quick interlude to, uh, or intermission, I guess, to pick up new abilities. We've got level five fireball, a new rank of our Samus Blast uh, energy arcane pulse. Um, now we have Mind Blast, briefly puts to sleep targets in a 4 meter radius centered 10 meters in front of you, so that's cool. And a new rank of Retaliate. So let's see, uh, Mind Blast, I guess we can put that, um, Flame Pillar, Time Gyre, Painful Trap, let me get rid of Mana Siphon for right now, and put Mind Blast right there. So now... Oh, that's cool. So it puts them to sleep while I while I hold that down. Okay. So I will go ahead and cut back to where we were. Okay, so we're back in the uh, Tawangi Mire, and uh, we just got this quest prior to going to get new abilities that has us go find Jira, and uh, I think get some sort of teleport scroll, so let's go find Jira. Based on where we are on the map here, I think he's, uh, he's gonna be right up here. Ah, yes. So here we go. Saving Jira. Uh, okay, go find Pangari. So now we gotta go... Ooh. Ah. Stuck on rocks. Now I gotta go through here and uh, go find his brother. There we go. Oh, that's a that's a saber cat. Us otters are not terribly fond of uh, giant saber cats. Oh. I would beat some of them up and whatnot, but. Uh, I think we're gonna get a quest right up here that actually has us do that uh, very same thing. So here we go, Pangari, saving Gira. Thank you. I guess we saved him. Uh, I guess we gave him a scroll to teleport out or something. Uh, cool. Moon and collect sun essences, but we already have them, so we'll just turn them in. Cool. That's one advantage to picking stuff up as we go along. Speaking of which, Lin Metal Lore. So we go ahead and get some Lin Metal. Nice. Alright. What are you up to, Inky Sabertooth? Oh, well, that took care of that. Come down from there, you jerk. Nice. Ah, uh, there's another one. Oh, can't hit him from that far away. Wow, we are. We're dishing out the damage. Grab some plant while we're here. And then I think we'll go after that guy. Got him in our sights. Oh. Don't. This. Come on, you stupid plant. If I don't get it this time, I'll just give up. Nice. We got gathering speed. Oh, 
Last away. Wow. That was pretty crazy. He was like right on top of us. At least we've. Whoa! Man, that was scary. At least he didn't hit us. I think. Oh no, we need three more saber tooths. I thought since we didn't see a little exclamation point over that gun, maybe we were done. But, uh, nope, not done. Nice. There's that. And we gotta head over here. I keep using that ability too early. I'm way overestimating the range. And I don't know, for some reason I think like, maybe if I'm moving forward when I use it, it'll go farther. Because, you know, it's got more more velocity. But, uh, nope. Doesn't work that way because magic. Screw you, plant. We're moving on. We got bigger saber tooths to fry. There we go. Nice. Alright, so that's the real threat complete. Oh! Alright. Alright. So what's next? We gotta kill Stonehammer Tawangis. Uh, and kill Tawangi Warfroggers. So, happy to help. So we'll head down uh, over this way. I think the stone hammer ones are somewhere around here. Uh, those are those are blockheads. They're farther down here, I think. Let's see. War Frogger. Those are choppers. More choppers. Oh. And our lion just like bounced off the side of that. Are they through here? Oh yeah, here we go. Here's some. I think they're all over in that pond over there. It's like just around the corner. Just around the river bend. What's up? Hello. Just crashing your party, you little gopher jerks. Bam. Nobody messes with a magical otter. Okay. Hello there, Mitani. Long the frog riders. What's the matter? Kill Raguga. Open dagger, kill frog drums. Aww. Uh, and kill Tawangi blockheads. Okay, so uh, let's see. We'll go through here first. Hmm. Either that wasn't working on them, or I didn't do that right, but. Or whatever. Just wanted to see if it would do anything. Seems like the amount of damage that does to people or things really is uh, just kind of random, but that's okay. We need to use our energy ball thing on these guys more. Yeah. Hmm. I wasn't able to line that up very well. 
We'll try again. I'm sorry, Frog Drum. I know you're not hurting anybody, but I have to blow you up. I'm sorry. Let's see. Ah. Another group of willing participants. Okay. Well, that was a terrible... Terrible use of that ability. Almost as bad as accidentally pulling enemies in a dungeon. Not that I've ever done that. Cough, cough. Uh, last episode. Get! Done! Jeez. Because they're so hard to hit. There we go. Let's see. More frog drums. My goodness. There's quite an overwhelming number of quests. Well, these guys seem like they just don't do all that much a good portion of the time. They just, like, sit there and... Oh, okay, you're getting that one. All right, then. That's fine, person. I'll just, uh... I'll just go over here. Oh, here we go. Hey, guys, I have a... I have a friend I'd like to introduce you to called Energy Ball. <laughs> Excellent. What the heck? I managed to not hit him with either of those. I'm like the worst sorcerer in... ever. Okay. Bam. Just kidding. Totally the best sorcerer in ever. Okay, so that's our Tolongi Hammers taken care of. Get away from me, you little thing. We have uh, more enemies to take care of, though. Let's see, we gotta take out Raguga. I think he's back the other way. And with him, uh, wood chippers and various things like that. And more frog drums. We don't need to take out Moon yet, so we'll leave him. Ah, uh, there's a... There's a War Frogger. Get over here, you War Frogging jerk. Nice. And took care of them. Oh, and we aggroed them. Ha ha ha, can't catch me. Okay. So, now we need to go turn in... Oh, wait a second. We need one more frog drum, don't we? Drum from over there. Okay, there we go. Frog drums complete. So let's go turn in the uh, the war frog request. I will leave the rest of the frog drums because I actually kind of like them, despite. Oh, okay, stuck in a root. Yeah, for whatever reason we gotta kill them, but uh, I think they are pretty darn cool. I mean, who wouldn't want to have a whole village full of little frogs jumping on the drums? Just making music for you and your various village buddies. Just hanging out. I think that'd be pretty nice. Best serve cold. Like gazpacho. Turn that in. And acquiring assistance. That says take that to the humans. Oh, okay. 
We're gonna avoid these guys for the moment because we will deal with them next episode. And uh, we're just going to go down to here and park our fancy pants at the Kim camp. So we'll turn in two quests here. And this one. What's the matter? Oh. This one has us go kill matter? Moon now. And cloak and dagger. I have a moment for you. Thank you. So that was a episode of Andy's Sorcerer Let's Play. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.